all right we're back with another one and today we got how to get smart so before i get into that i want to touch up briefly on um the theory of nine types of intelligence all right so you could take your time look at the list see all the shit that's on there i'm not really gonna keep this shit on the screen for much longer because i feel like all of this shit is just you know i think it you do have to have a certain degree of intelligence to do that shit but it's like we already have a perfectly good word for all those different types of intelligences talents like i don't feel like we need to make up some extra bullshit not bullshit even but it's like dude like nigga being smart isn't being talented <laughs> being smart is something that's almost that's not even necessarily tangible it's something that you know it grows over time but at the same time um you there's a certain level of intelligence that you you just can't surpass due to your fucking biology the only way to get smarter than that is to either have inherited it or your brain chemistry would have to significantly change all right so the first way to get smarter is to find similarities and things that don't have any similarity whatsoever so what this will basically do is it will it will strengthen your pattern recognition which will make it will it'll make doing things a lot easier because it's like once you learn one thing you kind of already know how to do the other because you spot the similarities shit so here we got a fucking bowl and a laptop so basically um hmm y'all see my toes and shit but uh what's similar between these two is bowls are filled with liquids computers are filled with data they're both filled with things all right so this one's more logical this is kind of how you um increase your vocabulary and what that will do for you is it'll allow you to say more things with less words and the reason that makes you smarter is because being smart is about efficiency so that's exactly what efficiency is is more with less so i'll give you an example of that shit right now all right so for this one it's basically um refining the way that you speak it's almost like learning another language because you just translating your original thought into like a more broad spectrum or more formal tone but it's not quite the same as learning a whole new language so i said this bitch talked too damn much and then what, what the translation would be is like a, a, a more formal one. I don't like her because she feels she's more important than others. And then the way to say that with less is I don't like her because she's narcissistic and has a grandiose sense of self-worth. Now, I know that my handwriting and shit fucked up, but y'all gonna have to bear with me. All right, so I know that one was kind of vague, but um, it's pretty damn straightforward. You know, if you want to figure out how to translate your words into something like like more broad and, you know, more, more just able to say more with less, just go look up some fucking synonyms of what you're trying to say and look up more descriptive adjectives. And that's basically how you do that. And over time, it's like it, it just comes into your natural pattern of speech. All right, for this next one, it gives you a more, um, I, I really can't find an adjective to describe it. It's basically, it makes you have epiphanies about literally everything in life. So what you want to do is you want to do the opposite of how you behave. So like if you're extroverted, you, you can still be extroverted, just um, um, analyze things and people before you actually go to interact with them and vice versa and basically what that does is it gives you a brand new perspective on what life actually is because you're you we don't realize it but like when a lot of the time we just on autopilot and we just you know we're convinced that things are a certain way but when you do this it kind of shatters that it, it allows you to see things in a completely different way and it kind of mind fucks you because you're like wait what the fuck even is life but <laughs> yeah that's pretty much all you got to do to do that okay for this one we're doing um thinking like an engineer or a hacker or even you can sum it up as manipulation because all you're doing is you're analyzing the way that a system works and then taking that information that you have to exploit the system 
to work in a way that it wasn't originally intended to whether it's to benefit you or whatever all right so this is a system that we have created so here's the key and shit everything above the fucking key is the key all the symbols and shit is a key all right so this is the system right the kid does work for candy teacher opens the cabinet and then gives the kid candy so if the kid was smart he would realize how shit was working and he could cut the process in half he could just go straight to the cabinet and he gets what he wants without having to do any fucking work all right the next thing you do is after you learn anything and i literally mean anything it can be sports writing music video games it doesn't fucking matter so after you do that all you have to do is re-explain what you just did to yourself in your head like imagine that you're a teacher and you're te you're trying to explain to yourself how to do what you just did and what that does for you is it it not only does it make it easier to remember and refine but it gives you a bigger understanding of what you're actually doing like you might know how to do something but you might not know exactly how it works or why that you or why you did what you did you just kind of knew to do it with this you actually know it because i feel like if you can't explain to somebody else how to do something you don't really know how to do it all the way you just kind of have a general understanding but um anyways um i know this fucking car video and shit was kind of weird but like nigga i wanted to test out my fucking phone camera because like i never used that bitch and it's like the main fucking reason the the, the phone is priced the way it is so i was like fucking i'm gonna just record it let me know if y'all like that shit and anyways uh go ahead give me a like and i'm out this shit